Hi, my name is Noah Flaherty, and I'm here to show you Vellum Workflows SDK. Workflows SDK is the only code-first UI native framework for defining agentic AI systems as graphs. Let's dig in, starting with the UI. Here I've built out, using the UI, a, a pretty simple React agent. This React agent has the very classic prompt node with function calls and tool calls, uh, a top path where it's invoking those tools, and then a loop where it keeps going around until it has invoked all the tools that it needs until it can produce a end user facing message. In this particular case, I've built my React agent to provide uh, product reviews and comparisons. And here I'm simulating the input of uh, basically what happens when I ask it to provide reviews of home air conditioning and mini split products. So I went ahead and clicked run. And as you can see, it's doing that looping. And um, it's going to eventually follow this bottom path once it arrives at an answer. Uh, just right away, you'll notice that I can see exactly what's going on and what node is producing what output. Here with the scrubber, I can use this to debug and replay my request. So especially in these kind of like cyclic agentic use cases uh, where it can be pretty confusing what's going on and what decisions the AI is making, I can see exactly what's going on. Uh, so here you'll see that on first pass, the AI identified that it needed to get top products and then there's uh, additional iterations in which it's pulling details about each product until finally it produces some answer. In this case, it's producing details about each product that it looked up, followed by a key observation. And then it goes down the bottom path, which is saying, hey, I'm done. So, you know, as an engineer, it's pretty handy to be able to quickly scaffold from a UI the overall structure of my graph. And, you know, I might even use this UI to simulate and run and debug edges, edge cases with my scrubber here. Um, and, you know, something like this is especially useful for my non-technical counterparts that might want to do some lightweight prompt engineering within a UI, maybe do some manual testing, make sure it works across a variety of different input values. But ultimately, as a developer, I want to iterate on my graph and code. And that's where the Workflows SDK comes in. Right off the bat, I'll show that through the UI, you can see a preview of what the graph looks like in code and um, what all the nodes look like. We'll dig in there in a second. Uh, but really, the cool part is with the CLI. So I mentioned code first UI native. Uh, what I mean by that is that uh, Vellum lets you pull down a workflow that started off in the UI as code, make changes, push it back up, make changes in the UI, and go back and forth. Really, it's the only framework out there that lets you do this bi-directional syncing between code and UI. Uh, let's take a look at it in action. So here I copied that command to my clipboard. I've got my IDE. So far, all I've done is run pip install Vellum AI and exported a Vellum API key as an environment variable. But what I'm going to do now is run that pull command and it's gonna generate within this uh, directory, a directory of its own. This looks exactly like what I saw in that code preview. Um, and here's my workflow. Notably, the workflow is one-to-one -one with what you saw previously in the UI. It's got uh, one class per node. It's got the syntax that indicates the, the control flow of the graph. Um, and one big difference between this and other graph-based frameworks that you may see out there is that it's all statically defined. It's declarative. What this means is um, you get really strong like type checks and static type analysis. So for example, if I drill into the invoke functions node, you'll see that one of its inputs called item depends on the output of this other node. And um, because everything's statically defined, we can, through MyPy, ensure that uh, if you're passing the wrong types in as a value, you'll get errors at you know compile time rather than runtime errors. Uh, Another thing that's cool is you've got the sandbox.py file, which lets you directly run and execute the workflow locally. Notably, this is not just like a definition of the workflow, it's also the execution layer. So here I will run this Python file, and you'll see it actually running here in my shell. Now, debugging these uh, agentic systems in a shell can be pretty cumbersome, uh, and that's where that UI comes in. So let's say, for example, I didn't like the fact that it provided all of my product details uh, here and then only showed the reviews at the very end. And maybe I want to flip that. So I'm going to do some prompt engineering. To do that, okay, yeah, here we saw the output. Pretty hard to grok what's going on. 
yeah, I could maybe pretty print it, uh, but still never gonna be quite as good as a UI for debugging. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my workflow, find my prompt node, here's my prompt, and here's a little snippet that I wanna add to the end of it. So let me just update my prompt. Save it. And now what I can do is actually push it up back to Vellum. So for this, I will run the analogous push command. Cool, that should be good. And now if I go back to my UI, refresh the page, there we go, we have our updated prompt. And um, lastly, we'll go ahead and run this thing, give it a second and see if it listened to our new prompting instructions. Uh, while that goes, I'll just kind of give a quick recap. Um, you've got you know code, code first, UI native. You've got bidirectional syncing via CLI. You've got a UI where you can define, edit, run, simulate anything about the workflow. Uh, and then the code representation itself, it's all declarative, statically defined, uh, and gives you strong type checks along the way. Uh, and here the workflow ran, and we can see that yes, it listened to our updated instructions, gave overall recommendation followed by the products, and did exactly what we want. So from here, as some next steps, I might continue to make tweaks in the UI, I might push and pull between the two, um, and just note that I can really use the best tool for the job. Or I might hand this off to product or QA and have them try a few different inputs and kind of give them free reign to edit my prompt and make it even better or change the format. Um, if you want to go further and learn more, check out docs.vellum.ai. Uh, there's a quick start guide. There's some sign-up links. Uh, the con core concept section is a good one to read through. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for listening. Again, this is Noah Flaherty from Vellum, and uh, we can't wait to see what you build.